while well, Kali Linux is a Linux distribution that mostly gets used for security, penetration testing, and ethical hacking purposes. It is one of the most prominent operating system out there. Well, there are several ways that how you can use your Kali Linux. Mostly, you will be using your terminal in your Kali Linux to do different things. Other than that, it comes with a lot of different applications that you can use for different purposes. First of all, I'll talk to you about some of the commands that will come handy while you are using your Kali Linux. The first command is date. Well, this command returns you the current date as you can see onto your screen. The next command is cal. It is basically used to return the calendar of current year. This is basically a utility, not a command. So you have to install it first into your Kali Linux. The command for that is apt install cal and it will download and install cal utility so i will just write here cal hit enter and here you can see it has returned me the current month with its calendar in case if you want to see the whole year calendar with a particular year number let's say i want to see the calendar of 2020 just write like this one and hit enter here we have the calendar of whole year of 2020 so these were some of the utilities or you can say some of the commands that come very handy. After that, now I'll talk to you about that how you can go through different directories and how you can list out the content of those directories. First of all, let's see what do we have in our current directory as we are into our home. So I will just ls here, hit enter, ls mean list. So in our home, we have these directories that we can go through. Now, what if I want to go in one of these directories? For that purpose, we have a command known as cd. So I will just write here cd and after that write the name of the directory in which you want to go. I want to go to my desktop. So I will just write here des. After that, either you can write the whole name or you can just press the tab. It will take the command on its own as you can see. Hit enter and now we are into our desktop directory. If I ls here, I do not have anything as you can see onto my desktop as well. I have directory, I have file system, I have trash and nothing else. Now what if I want to create a directory or I want to create a file onto my desktop because as we are onto desktop, so now I'll show you that how you can create a file and how you can create your directories. First of all, let's make a directory. In other words, let's make a folder. The command for that is mkdir space now give the name that you want to keep for your folder i will name it as abc hit enter and as you can see on my desktop i have a folder now with the name of abc now let's move into our abc folder for that again we'll use cd command space a b c hit enter and now we are into our abc folder now I'll show you that how you can create a file and there are several ways that you can use. First of all, the first one is cat. Just write here cat space use this sign and then write the name that you want to give to your file. I'll name it as file1.txt, hit enter. Here we are into our editor mode. Anything that you will write here will be added into file1.txt. I will just write here, hi, this is Kali Linux tutorial video and to get out of this just press ctrl C and now let's open our abc directory and let's open our file1.txt so here you can see we have the same content that we had added from our terminal now I'll just close this one and let's move ahead so as we have seen that how we can create different directories and files now let's see how we can delete a file first of all I'll get back from my abc directory for that purpose just write here cd space dot dot it will get you one directory back as you can see we are onto our desktop now I'll create a file onto my desktop the command for that is cat and use the sign and now write the name that you want to give to any file just hit enter and here you can see we have successfully created a file now I'll show you that how you can delete it to delete the file, the command is rm, which means remove. After that, file 
3.txt basically the name of the file that you want to delete hit enter and here you can see we do not have anything onto our desktop now as we know that we have a file into our abc folder as well so i'll move to my abc folder and i will just delete file1.txt hit enter we have successfully deleted file one from abc folder now i'll get out of my abc folder so that i can delete my abc directory as well well as it is a directory so for that purpose we have to use different command rmdir space the name of the directory which is abc hit enter so now we have successfully deleted the directory so these are some of the commands that you can use and will be handy when you will be using your kali linux for different purposes now i'll talk to you about some of the tools that comes pretty handy as pre-installed in kali linux so if you just click on your menu from here if you go to your password attacks and here we have a tool with the name of ncrack or if you go to your wireless attacks here we have a tool with the name of aircrack well this tool is a complete suite of tools that you can use to access and assess different wi-fi network securities it has different features that focuses on different areas of Wi-Fi security. For example, in terms of monitoring, it captures the packets and exports the data to text files for further processing by the third-party tools. Then in terms of attacking, it replies the attacks and it de-authenticates fake access points and other via packet injections. Then in terms of testing, it checks the Wi-Fi cards and their driver capabilities. And if you talk about the cracking, it has different protocols like WEP and WPA, PSK. Again, I'll go to my menu and this time I'll go to my password attacks. And as the name suggests, different tools that are available in this categories are related to passwords and their different attacks. So here I'll talk about ncrack. I'll just open this one. Well, this tool is basically a high speed network authentication cracking tool. Basically, it was built to help different companies to secure their networks by proactively testing all their host and networking devices for poor passwords. And this tool helps you to access and assess those potential threats. NCRAC's features include very flexible interface granting that allows the user full control of network operations. And it also allows for very sophisticated brute forcing attacks and timing templates for ease of use so with the help of some of these features you can find out the loophole and potential security threats in terms of your passwords now i'll talk about one of the very prominent tool that you might have used even without the kali linux i'm talking about the wireshark so i'll just search for that here it is i'll just open this one well this tool is a network protocol analyzer with the help of it you can see what's happening on your network at a microscopic level and basically it is a de facto standard across many commercial and non-profit enterprises it has a lot of features for example it gets used for the deep inspection of hundreds of protocol with more being added all the time so it will check all the traffic that is coming or going out from your network let me open my browser so as you can see as soon as i have opened my browser I have a traffic onto my Wireshark. So now it has different features. For example, it has live capture and offline analysis. It also has standard three pane packet browser and it also has multi-platform that runs on Windows, Linux and Mac operating system and many other. So you can use this one and here you can apply different filters. You have different features like you can see what type of traffic, what type of protocol, what is the source of the IP address and what is the destination. So this is another one of the very prominent tool and a powerful one in Kali Linux. So just like these three, we have a lot of other tools as well in here. As you can see, we have tools for information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis. Then you also have tools for database assessment and obviously SQLite is here. Same goes for reverse engineering, exploitation tools, and many others. So leave a comment below if you want to have a detailed video on any one of these tools. And that brings us to the end of today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.